Shout out to Omaha Steaks for sponsoring this update. We're now solidly in the holiday season, and that means two things, family and food. Mm -hmm. If you got a lot of mouths to feed, Omaha Steaks will send you a family gift pack for only $49.99. That's 77% off, which means more money for video games. <laughs> to get it, visit omahasteaks.com and enter promo code THE NO in the search bar. Loud Welcome to the No Man's Sky. I'm Ashley Jenkins. I'm John Reisinger, and I hate that. <laughs> yes, No Man's Sky is back, baby. Uh, developer Hello Games finally closed out months of relative silence. Well, if you can call a roller coaster of disaster silence with a brand new update that significantly changes the game. All right, so the foundation update addresses some of No Man's Sky many criticisms, not only adding huge features, but also a brand new wrinkle in the ongoing saga of one of the fall's biggest Downs. That's an understatement. After uh, frothing at the mouth for some kind of official response for months, players seem to feel like the update is a step in the right direction, but is it a little too late? Well, we'll see. The news about the update landed on Black Friday with Hello Games' first blog post since early September. <laughs> In it, they wrote, We're calling it the Foundation Update because we have added the foundations of base building and also because this is putting in place a foundation for things to come. Maybe. And then they went like this. Yeah. Get it? You know when they usually put the foundation in? Before they make the whole rest of before the building. You, before you build the house. Yeah, that's usually what happens. You don't do it like four months after you're living in the house. At least they put it in at some point. <laughs> okay, so they went on to say, the discussion around No Man's Sky since release has been intense and dramatic. We have been quiet, but we are listening and focusing on improving the game that our team loves and feels so passionately about. Yeah, intense and dramatic is one way to describe it. <laughs> Others would be words like hot mess. Fubar, clusterfuck, baby. Dumpster maybe? fire. Uh, following the blog post, public enemy number one, Sean Murray, dusted off the old Twitter login this weekend for the first time since August, minus that brief window where he tweeted about Hello Games being hacked last month, to announce that the update has officially landed. Okay, Murray tweeted, if you could have lived our lives over the last months, you'd know how meaningful this is. Along with Murray's tweet came a brand new trailer detailing a number of rather impressive new features for No Man's Sky. If only you knew how hard we'd had it. Yeah. You'd understand. Yeah. Uh, the biggest of these changes uh, is the addition of base building, something that Murray and company indicated would be coming to the game eventually back when it first launched. The new base building mechanics are actually pretty deep, giving players the ability to customize and build a base any way they want, adding landing pads, new technology, decorative items, multiple floors, and more. You can even hire aliens at space stations to man custom science, farming, weapon, and construction terminals to discover new upgrades. So they're basically just adding all the Stardew Valley's like entire features. Look, you, <laughs> that is not a bad thing. Yeah, they're a little late to the party though. Okay, so your home base, wherever you claim it, can be returned to at any time, thanks to the new Terminus teleporters. You can find these on any space station, giving you quick access to check on progress back at home. During your absence, automated harvesters can be placed at large mineral deposits to gain precious minerals while you're off doing well, whatever it is that's more important than collecting minerals in No Man's Sky, I don't know what that is, but you know. What will you do with your time when your job in the game is done? Yeah. Uh, you could be operating your own space freighter, potentially, because okay. that's a new feature in the Foundation update sure. as well, for a rather large chunk of money, which we probably all have at this point because we <laughs> had nothing to spend it on. Yeah. You can purchase a massive freighter to store materials and operate as a temporary interstellar base while you move further away from home. Freighters can be summoned from anywhere in the galaxy with a nice perk of being able to teleport goods to them. You can also customize your freighter the way you can your base, adding more rooms, a crew, and laboratories for research. Basically, the Foundation update brings everything that probably should have launched with the game in the first place. So congratulations to all the early $60 beta backers. <laughs> now, if you feel like uh, trying these new gameplay mechanics out, you will notice that right off the bat, you'll have access to two new modes of play as well. In addition to the standard vanilla No Man's Sky, there's also a survival mode, which tests your survival skills to the max, plus creativity mode, where resources and money don't matter, and you're free to build to your heart's content. Whatever you, you want to build. <laughs> it's no Minecraft Sky. Yeah. Guys, you guys are terrible. No matter which mode you choose, base building and viable freighters will uh, now be part of the experience. And keeping in mind that while you can add bases and freighters to your existing game, the new modes will require you to start over. Yes. Hello Games also released a ton of patch notes beyond what was mentioned in the trailer. Temporal anti-aliasing has been added to get rid of harsh edges, the ability to permanently mark objects of interest with waypoints, by which I mean probably like vortex cubes, yeah. Mo motion blur, stackable objects in inventory, UI improvements, fixes to terrain generation so planets don't look quite so shitty, photo mode, biome-specific plants, star-specific resources, and the ability to scan planets for their resources from space. 
Right. So that's that's actually a lot of stuff. Yeah, that is. So that's what Hello Games has been doing while their community crashed and burned all around them. After announcing the update, Murray went on to offer a couple more thoughts on Twitter, saying, we hope you enjoyed this first proper update. We didn't want to talk about anything in it until it was 100% certain. We're getting better as quickly as we can for the players who invested in us. Thank you for sticking with us. Wow, not talking about anything until it's 100% certain. That's a new outlook. Yeah. A better outlook, admittedly. Yeah. I mean, we would have liked it, something, but... At least this way, we weren't overhyped for it. Yeah. Of course, the uh, big question is just how many players have actually stuck with the game, especially after everything that's happened. I mean, in the hysteria surrounding the game's launch and subsequent fan disappointment, we've seen players requesting refunds, the game's subreddit go belly up because of toxicity, and in general, overwhelmingly negative perception that's going to be hard for them to change no matter what they've added or add in the future. Mm -hmm. However, early response from players to this update seems to be mostly positive, which has got to be like water in a desert for the devs. Yes, there are the skeptics out there who probably will never believe anything Hello Games or Murray say ever again, and for good reason, but the No Man's Sky subreddit seems pretty pleased about the changes, feeling that it's finally a step in the right direction, so who knows, maybe some players will come back. Well, the game's PC population has enjoyed a momentary spike following the release of the Foundation patch. After the update dropped over the weekend, the concurrent player numbers jumped from hovering around 500 last month, which is not a lot, That's to really low. over 8,000, which is a significant improvement. That's nowhere near the all-time peak of 200,000 plus in its first few days, but it shows that there are perhaps some interested players who kind of want to return, if only there's something for them to play. Really, this update just shows that No Man's Sky probably should have been propositioned or billed the way most early access titles are. As, as an early access title? Right, as a game that would eventually receive the features Murray was talking about, rather than one that was going to launch with all of them. It's a, it's a sh subtle shift in marketing, but it probably would have made a, a huge difference for player expectations. Right, and despite the missteps that Hello Games has made on No Man's Sky's delivery, you've got to give them at least some tiny props for hunkering down and trying to move the game in the right direction. It would have been really easy to take the money and run away and live on an island somewhere for the rest of their days, but they didn't. The base building mechanics are actually really extensive, and being able to purchase a freighter and teleport goods changes the game a lot, too. Maybe next time you should have those huge features ready at launch, though. Hello, games. Uh, or at the very least, give some kind of timeline. The damage is probably too much to overcome at this point, but it'll probably be interesting to see them try. According to them, the Foundation update is the first of many more, even bigger updates to come. Yo, what do you guys think of No Man's Sky delivering the huge Foundation update? Too little, too late? Just enough? Mm -hmm. Like the freighters? Let us know in the comments. Like the freighters? Uh, for future updates on No Man's Sky, you should like this video and subscribe to the now. Thanks to Omaha Steaks for sponsoring this update. The holidays are all about food and family, which is why Omaha Steaks will send you a family gift pack for $49.99. That's 77% off the regular price. The pack includes a ton of stuff. Two filet mignons, two top sirloins, two boneless pork chops, four boneless chicken breasts, a package of meatballs, eight kielbasa sausages, four Omaha Steaks and burgers, four potatoes at gratin, four caramel apple tartlets, seasoning, this is a lot of food. That's actually a ton of That's food. That's a lot bucks. of food. <laughs> uh, just visit omahasteaks.com and use promo code THENO, all one word, in the search bar to bring up the deal. I actually ordered one of these. I love it. I'm not going through it all at once because there's only a couple of us in the house. Yeah. But um, I had the potatoes I grew on with Thanksgiving. I used meatballs with some pasta last night. It was delicious. I'm, I'm cooking up some of the chicken this week. The prep is actually really, really easy. It basically goes, take out a freezer, put in oven, take out of oven, put in face. I like that. Uh, and if you're gift shopping for family, but you have no idea what to get them, just let me put it this way. Everyone needs to eat. So yeah. you could help them eat good stuff.